Hello everybody, just add nuance here, and today we're going to be taking the political compass test, but with a twist. Today, to sites building in lockdown, we're going to go mass off and see if we can get the political compass all the way to the top right. I recently saw YouTuber Drew Durnell try right here in the very corner, but I've never seen someone seriously get there, and that's what I'm going to try here. Sadly, he was waffling on softballs. To his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. Oh, geez, this is getting hard. <laughs> Needless to say, I'm a politics nerd. I think I have a good chance as anyone is hitting that top right corner. But first, we need to get into the right mindset. All right, boys, masks off, fedoras on. Let's do this Tradcon, bitch. Wait, actually, we still need one more thing. Oh, yeah. Now we're ready. Buddy, so just before I take the test, I just want to go over how the test actually works so you get what I'm doing. Uh, I'm assuming you've t seen this test before and you guys are familiar with it, so I don't want to over-explain it or go too much into detail, but just what gets a lot of people in this is that they think of regular right versus left-wing people, and they try and say things that right-wing people say. The axes are completely separate. So left-wing versus right-wing economic, free market versus regulated markets are completely separate on this test from issues of authoritarian versus libertarian government. In real life, these things tend to be tied together, but as far as this test is concerned, it's completely separate. Uh, Singapore I do know a lot about, and Singapore is definitely fits this description of a free market but an authoritarian government, and so that's the goal we're going to be trying to get. So let's go through it. If economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Strongly disagree. I'd always support my country, whether it's right or wrong. Strongly agree. Uh, your country's right. No one chooses their country birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. Strongly disagree. That goes against nationalism. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Strongly disagree. That's a very liberal idea. Oh, strongly agree. Whoopsie daisy. The enemy of the enemy is my friend. Strongly agree. That's a, an authoritarian mindset. Military action that defies the international law is sometimes justified. Agree. Authoritarian countries tend not to like international law. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Strongly agree. Facts and logic. People are ultimately divided more by class than by nationality. Strongly disagree. Class. We shouldn't pay attention to class. We should only worry ourselves with issues of nationality and identity. Controlling the inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. This one gets a lot of people. The answer is strongly agree. Uh, controlling unemployment is typically a left-wing idea. Controlling inflation affects wealth, whereas controlling unemployment directly affects people who are dependent on jobs. You can have high unemployment and rich people will still make money, but if inflation gets too high, the wealth you already possess gets devalued, which is bad for people who have a lot of money, but not really bad for poor people at least in the short term. Because corporations cannot be trusted to voluntarily protect the environment, they require uh, regulation. Strongly disagree, the free market will solve that. From each according to his ability to each according to his need. Fundamentally good idea, strongly disagree, that's communism. The freer the market, the freer the people, strongly agree. Uh, it's a sad reflection in our society that something as basic as drinking water is now bottled and brand consumer products, strongly disagree. Uh, that's just good capitalism. Land shouldn't be a commodity to be bought and sold, strongly disagree. Land is like any other resource, it should be go to the free market. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Strongly disagree, that's not an accurate characterization, that's just good business. It's what they're describing. Uh, protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Strongly disagree, again, uh, a lot of conservative people tend to like protectionism, but that isn't a pure free market position. The only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver profits to shareholders, strongly agree. The rich are too highly taxed, strongly agree. Those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care, strongly agree. Government should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Um... Even rigorous capitalists might disagree on this. Uh, I'm going to go with strongly disagree because that's the free market fundamentals position would probably say that that's incorrect. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. Strongly disagree. Uh, monopolies, as of course everybody knows, are completely fictitious. 
Uh, naturally occurring monopolies do not exist. Uh, they only are created by government. And there is no such thing <laughs> as barriers to entry or domination by one company over others. That's not true. Uh, abortion when a woman's life is not threatened should always be illegal. Uh, strongly agree. All authority should be questioned. Strongly disagree. An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. Strongly agree. Taxpayers should not be expected to profit from the theaters museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Uh, strongly agree. Schools should not should make not make classroom attendance compulsory. Uh, I'm going to say I agree. This is another tough one. Um, a lot of authoritarians... No, I think authoritarian states would want people in school. A lot of religious libertarians like the idea of kids staying at home and getting like tax credits for that. Uh, but I don't think an authoritarian state would necessarily want that. I'm not sure, but we'll see what happens. All people have their rights, but it's better uh, for different sorts of people to keep with their own kind. Strongly agree. Good parents sometimes have to spank their kids. Strongly agree. It's natural for children to keep secrets from their parents. Strongly disagree. Possessing marijuana for personal use should not be a criminal offense. Strongly disagree. That's the devil's cigarettes. That's the, the devil's grass. That's how he gets your children and indoctrinates them to communism. The prime function of schooling should be to equip the future generation to find jobs. Strongly agree. People with serious and terrible diseases should not be allowed to reproduce. Strongly agree. The most important thing for children is to learn to accept discipline. Strongly agree. There are no savage or civilized people. There are only different cultures. Strongly disagree. Those who are able to work and refuse the opportunity should be should not be expected to side with support. Strongly agree. When you are troubled, it's better not to think about it, but to keep busy with more cheerful things. This is what gets a lot of people do, because it's very odd. I think that the test interprets this as a conservative or like an authoritarian position, maybe. Um, just like, don't think about it. Don't look to the deeper causes. Just, you know, look past it and keep going. I guess that's more conservative mindset. I don't know how accurate that is, but... You know, that's what the test, I believe, seems to think. First-generation immigrants can never truly fully integrate within their country. Strongly agree. What's good for most people, uh, for most successful corporations, always ultimately good for all of us. Well, corporations are people, so that's true. Uh, no broadcasting institution ever dependent should receive public funding. Strongly agree. That's antithetical to capitalism. Civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Strongly disagree. The significant advantage of one-party state is that it avoids all arguments to delay progress in a democratic political system. Uh, strongly agree. I hate that question. <laughs> I hate this question so much because it says a significant advantage of a one-party state is, which is correct, that is an advantage of the one-party state. Now, you might not agree with a one-party state, which I don't in real life, but that is an advantage of it. That is correct to say, <laughs> like an advantage of, you know, mass genocide would be lower CO2 emissions, but I don't think we should commit mass genocide, so I hate that question. Although electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly agree. Pro police states. Uh, the death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly agree. In civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Strongly agree. Hierarchies uh, are good. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything should be considered art of all. I do strongly agree. In criminal justice, punishment is more important than rehabilitation. Strongly agree. It's a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. Strongly agree. This is person the manufacturer more important than the writer and the artist. Strongly agree. Mothers have careers, but the first used to be homemakers. Strongly agree that this this is textbook Singapore. Uh, multinational corporations run ethically exploiting genetic resources in developing countries. Strongly disagree. I don't quite I don't know enough about this context, but anything that's like multi multinational companies are doing something bad in an unequal power situation is you know something that a right wing person would be pro. Make peace with the establishment is important aspect of maturity. Uh, strongly agree. Oh boy. I don't know about astrology. This one is weird. I'm going to go with a... Maybe something spiritual. Like, you know, the Nazis were very, very pro-spirituality. I don't know. Some sense of destiny or higher order. I don't think this would be like a, a, a libertarian perspective. I'm going to go with strong. We'll see what happens. You cannot be more without being religious. Strong degree. Charity is better than social security. Yes. Some people are naturally unlucky, strongly agree. It's important that the child's school instills religious values. Strongly agree. Sex out of marriage is usually immoral, strongly agree. Same-sex couple in a stable in a relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption, strongly disagree. Pornography depicting as consenting adults should be legal for the adult population, strongly disagree. Now this question, uh, a libertarian would probably say this is fine. 
But the problem is, is that this isn't a free market question. According to the axis of this test, this would probably be interpreted as an authoritarian question of whether the government should be in the business of regulating this. And in that case, uh, an authoritarian state would want to be in the business of regulating pornography. What goes on in the bedroom, private bedrooms, consenting adults is no business of the state. Again, this is a situation like that. No one can feel naturally homosexual, strongly agree. In these days, openness about sex has gone too far. All right. Let's see how we did. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm doing this. I really don't know what my result will be. Uh, let's see. And yes! 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 Victory! Damn, son! Okay. Holy crap. We got a perfect 10 uh, for economics. And for social, libertarian, authoritarian, we got 9.03. We did it. Uh, this is not a perfect 10 out of 10. Uh, this is a... Ugh, this is bothering me. I feel very good about this. I feel like we're very, very close. But uh, we're not quite there. We're not quite there. All right. All right, so now we have natural score. I'm going to look it up and see if there's actually uh, an answer sheet to see if there's a way to, if somebody's figured out how to get a perfect 10 out of 10. Now that I've tried to do it, this is much better than YMS. Uh, this is better than anybody I've seen so far, but uh, I'm gonna try and uh, get the test perfect. All right, cut back. To a little longer than a few minutes later. Basically, I've tried to get the test. You've seen my results, uh, but it's not working. I am dissatisfied with my results. I got a nine, I got roughly nine nine was my score. And I think I can do a little bit better. I'm now, can, this is not, I'm not pretending I got this authentically. I'm gonna see if I can do this by cheating. So I'm going to use the <laughs> political compass chart I found online. This is the only chart I found online. I figured there'd be a lot more of them, but this seems to be the only option. Uh, I'm gonna try and test this to see if it's real. Let's go through it. <laughs> required some cheating we got a natural nine and nine uh but with some cheating we did get a 10 we got a perfect 10 out of 10 on this let's zoom in let's save this image Whew. we did it we got 10 out of 10 we pulled it off we achieved victory the right has won this day and we have 10 out of 10. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Uh, if you have ideas for other videos, please let me know. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Just Add Nuance signing out.